Before I get started with this anime review on Naruto, I want to say something real quick. Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays, no matter what you celebrate on this day, I wish you all a wonderful rest of the year, and thank you so much for supporting this community. So anyways, now that I got that aside, let's actually talk about this episode of Naruto. Oh, the ending. The ending, I will tell you right now. If I was an anime-only watcher, that ending would just be a bitch. That ending is just a big freaking bitch slap to the face. That That's pretty much what that ending is. Because next week, the next episode of Naruto is filler. Straight up filler. So if you don't get what I'm saying is, I'm saying is that they left us on this cliffhanger as, you know, if you're an anime-only and you did not know what was going to happen... This is the cliffhanger you're going to have to deal with for God knows how long because we're getting into a filler arc after this episode. So, <sighs> that that just sucks. That, that, that just straight up sucks. Like, that that is a big middle finger to anyone that's anime only because seeing Sasuke get stabbed by Madara and he, you just see him dying and all that and you hear the epic music playing and he's just trying to get up. He's bleeding. And then you see Naruto. He's dying. He's flying in the sky on Gara's sand while, while Sakura is holding him alive. So, pretty much both of our main characters, technically, Sasuke and Naruto, are dying. They're, they're literally fucking dying, like they're on death's door, and we get a cliffhanger that's probably going to last maybe a month or two. That, that's, a, that, that's, uh, that's a bitch slap. That, that's straight up as a bitch slap. I, I, I'm sorry to say it, but damn. Like, if I was anime only, I would definitely read the manga after this point, just because I could not wait through a cliffhanger like that. I definitely could not wait for a cliffhanger because of fillers. But anyways, let's talk about more different aspects of this episode. For one thing, Madara, once again, he's showing that he is just way above in power scale and I guess the way he acts when he tries to capture the Bijus, unlike Obito. For instance, Obito, I find it very funny. Obito took 200 plus to 300 plus episodes to try to get, capture all the Tell Beast, and he still didn't technically capture all the Tell Beast. And Madara comes in, and under, like, 50 episodes at maximum, and, like, he, he wrecks everything, and he already has the Tell Beast inside of him. I, I find it very, very fucking funny how Madara only takes a mic. Actually, he only tried to get the Tell Beast for about an episode. So, it only took Madara an episode to get the Tell Beast, while Obito took 200 plus to 300 plus episodes to get all the Tell Beast. So, clearly right there, just Madara took a massive ass dump on Obito when it comes to collecting the Tell Beast. It just shows you how powerful Madara really is. Even Madara, after he captured the Jubies in this episode, he stayed like, oh, I guess that's all I can do with the extent of my power right now. So, he's pretty much putting his own power down. Like, he's saying, like, he's not strong enough in this episode. Madara completely stated he was not strong enough, and I'm like, dude, you literally just bossed all the Tell Beasts, sucked them inside the freaking Ghetto Mazo, and you're telling me you're still not fucking powerful? You fought the Nine Tails, the Eight Tails, the Seven Tails, the Six Tails, so forth. You get what I'm saying? And he was fighting them at once. He took a fucking meat and got his arm cut off, and he still says he needs more power after he wrecks all the Tell Beasts and sucks them inside the Ghetto Mazo. Dude, like, just straight up Madara. That right there, if that doesn't symbolize a badass, I don't know what does. Because Madara stating something like that is just jaw-dropping. Because you're like, this dude thinks he's really fucking weak after he did something like that. Because, I mean, nobody in the series has come to the level of something like that, of taking all the Tell Beast at once. Like, do you all remember how long it took? Like, I remember in the first 30 episodes of Naruto Shippuden, when we saw Gara getting his, you know... First, uh, the first tail sucked out of him. It took about, God, like, days, a couple, a day or two. And then you look at this, Madara just fucking yanks the nine tails and eight tails out of Naruto and B, and you're like, oh my God, it took, like, ten seconds? So it just shows you the skill level of, Na like, Madara compared to others. So right there, that just shows you the power scale. So besides that, okay, one thing I like about this episode is the overall dialogue between the characters. Like, I like Hashirama's dialogue with Sasuke, and I also like Madara's dialogue with Tobirama. Oh, dude. That dialogue right there, man, is oof. That shit was hot, man. Like, oh my god. When, when I saw Madara, okay, he, he's looking at Tobirama on the ground. He's pinned on the fucking ground after Madara wrecks him and all that. Just, oh god. Tobirama comes in, he had some sick ass moves. I mean, he was about to stab Madara, Madara pins him on the ground. And the thing was, in that entire moment, I love Madara's dialogue when he says, like, he really wishes Tobirama was alive. Because 
doing what he's doing to him now, putting, like, freaking spikes all through him, the, uh, you know, just impelling him, it doesn't really fulfill him as much as he wants. And so he's really wishing that Toby Rama was alive, or he could torture him and kill him. And what was even crazier is Modder went to the extent of slinging a fucking little pillar into his head, and, I mean, it didn't even work, like, it didn't actually kill him or anything, it wasn't really useful at all to even pin him anymore, but Modder did that out of spite towards Toby Rama, just because, like, he hates him so much. So, that just, that is amazing. I, I love Modder so much, and I love his build-up and the way he's been acting, and his overall power strength, like, holy shit, you don't fuck with Modder. So, besides that, let's talk about the other part that's going on. Hashirama and Sasuke have a little bit of a conversation at the beginning of this episode where Hashirama gives Sasuke you know, like a new jitsu. And this new jitsu supposedly can actually seal Modder because he has the sage chakra of Hashirama inside of him. Sasuke got a new jitsu from Hashirama to where he could seal Modder. So right there it seems like the cards are being laid before us to where how Modder is going to get defeated, but we'll have to see. Another thing too with that dialogue, Hashirama states that there is someone still good inside of Madara. For instance, from that dialogue what you can pretty much get is that, Sasuke, listen to me, I'm the first Hokage. Madara can be taught no jitsu, don't worry. Just talk no jitsu him, but become like Naruto and talk no jitsu him. And he will be on the good side once again. No, no, no. No, no, no. Madara, talk no jitsu, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, anyways, uh, besides that, okay, we have the entire aspect with Madara stabbing Sasuke in this episode, and that, for the most part, like I said, that leads into the bitch slap cliffhanger. Like, that that, that right there, Sasuke's dying, he's bleeding, he, he's pretty much dying at the end of this episode, and you see Madara stop him in mid-air with some form of new move or jitsu that we have yet to see, so right now we're up wondering, like, exactly how did he stop Sasuke? He looked at him, and then Sasuke stopped, so what was that? That, that's the big question we have to wonder, too. Now, besides that, that's pretty much the episode besides Naruto, you know, technically dying, too. I mean, he's getting healed by Sakura, but, I mean, it's not really going to help for long because she's running low on Chakra. Yeah, once his heart stops, he's pretty much dead. Once she stops putting Chakra inside of him, most likely he's going to die. So, pretty much, Naruto's at the end. So, we have to see what's going to happen. So, tell me your thoughts in the comments below. I love you all so much. You have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Chibi -a.